For the past 175 years, St. Thomas Parish has been serving the people of Woonsocket. But the Providence Diocese says over that time, declining attendance and increase in facility cost is forcing them to shut it down. This morning's rainy, windy weather. I would be nothing if not for St. Charles Church. Matching the mood for so many who call this church home. I have to remain hopeful. That is one of the three Christian values. Hope, I think, is, is the biggest. St. Charles Borromeo in Woonsocket, closing for good. Replacing the original church that burned down this building has been here since 1870. The parish itself is even older. We were built before the diocese was established. It's that same diocese deciding to close the church, fulfilling the request of Father Joseph Upton to shut it down. It's a controversial move. In response, members of the church forming a committee to keep it open. By canon law, the bishop does have a right to build and close churches, but he can't close churches if, there, if it has grave consequences to the parishioners, to the souls of the church. We're making the argument that it does. There is a case making its way through court. The Providence Diocese says the church's attendance has dropped dramatically. Others in the community saying they are coming together, hoping there is a future for this church again. Woonsocket may be an urban community, but we are very community-based. And when something like this is taking place, they don't just lie down and be silent. They rise up and they're vocal and they share their opinion. And this church remaining open is extremely important to the city of Woonsocket. The diocese would not speak further on the closing of the church, but in a previous statement, Bishop Thomas Tobin says the church itself will be available for events such as weddings and funerals. Brandon Truitt, Eyewitness News.